Hello everybody, Blue here with you guys, and guys, today I'm going to do another little quick music score tutorial, just because, I figure, why not? So, let's say you bought a song, and it's a little bit hard. You want to edit it a little bit. You want to make it look a little bit nicer, or you just don't like how it sounds in that part, and you want to make changes to it. So, you scan it as a PDF, or you have your PDF of it. So this is Hold the Line by Toto. It's arranged by that person. I didn't arrange this piece at all. It's just arranged by that person. <laughs> and yeah, Hold the Line, a good song. So how do you do that? Like how do you take that PDF and convert it to a MuseScore file? Rather than suffering through sitting down and typing out every single note, rather than doing all of that, there's a simpler way to do it. And that simpler way is to take the P oh, I actually kind of needed Google Chrome. <laughs> so you're going to need to go to this link, which is muscore.com slash import. Import. <laughs> Not import, but import. And then you can click select file. Now I've done this a few times. Now the problem here is sometimes it'll bug out. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful on the careful side of things. So if we go to desktop, which is where I have hold the line that PDF saved, you're going to want to upload hold the line to there. And now it's queued, and now you wait a nice little handy dandy minute or two for it to finish up. Now I've done this with this is me, which that's she's actually gotten everything very good you know, or for the vocalist part. I did battle that, so I tried to change it up a little bit, but I didn't want to look good, so. Yeah, that's, another thing I warn you about. If it's funky format, yeah, that's another thing I should warn you about. If it's in a funky format, say you scan it in a funky format, or you scan it sideways or whatever, it's probably not going to work right. Now, right now, you're probably thinking, why is the page constantly reloading? Why is it constantly changing? That's actually it just doing the process to change this over to the proper file. Because you have to realize it has to scan everything, then it has to guesstimate everything and all that. So. Just give it a nice, it, it can take a good amount of time depending on how big the song is. Now, I probably should have chosen a smaller song because Hold the Line is like a 10 page song. <laughs> but either way, after it has been completed, you have the nice little download link here. It'll download it as a MuseScore file, which you then kind of just click to open. It's going to open up the old MuseScore, which I continuously dread. So there we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's some stuff. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get this, which is not good. <laughs> so, what I recommend doing for that is to either rescan it or try downloading it again because sometimes what will happen is your download will be corrupt like right there you saw it downloaded that like that it went super fast with that download so that might just be that I need to rescan it which seems to be exactly what it is in which you want to go and rescan it and I'll be right with you guys after this is done rescanning okay it rescanned very quickly so I'm not gonna worry about that and we're gonna try this one more time it might not work. I hope it does. We'll see in just a second. Okay, it's corrupt, but it does warn you of this, I should say. I do want to give you that brief warning. It does warn you that on the page, it does say as a free service that attempts, attempts is the keyword to help convert PDFs. So sometimes you need to find other songs and whatnot. Right? Uh, I can, actually, I can get rid of everything in this folder. I don't really need any of it. Well, I should have saved some of those videos as assets. But either way, I'm going to go through some of my sheet music here, like Hogwarts theme for a clarinet. We're going to go ahead and try that out. So if I click this, go down, go up to sheet music, go to Hog H Hedwig's theme, not Hogwarts theme. And I'm going to try this now, and we're going to see how this goes.
try this one now, and we'll see in just a second. Now it downloads really quickly, which means the site might. Yes, it worked. Wow, I was actually surprised. I was ready to have to do a whole entire epic music transition thing of me re-uploading it and downloading it a few times or whatever. But yes, this one worked. So this it actually says it was actually created in MuseScore. I didn't think it was. I thought that I got this from another site. But either way, it says this score was created in MuseScore, in an older version of MuseScore for the better experience using MuseScore 3.1. We recommend adding some, adding to rest elements and all that. That's basically just it trying to say, it's basically just trying to tell you where you can add in some stuff that might make it a little bit better. But either way, we're not worried about that. Why does it want to say that the clarinet sounds like that? Okay. Uh, okay. I couldn't figure it out. I'm too lazy. I put just ended up putting two instruments on the same page. So, yeah. As you guys can see, it works to an extent. <laughs> Either way, hope you guys enjoy.